God has a message for you today. It sounds like you're going through a battle right now, a battle between you and those nagging doubts whispering in your ear. It's like they're trying to dim your inner light, making you question your abilities and filling your mind with shadows of worry. But here's the thing, those doubts are just tiny voices and you have the power to turn up the volume on your own belief in yourself. Imagine your doubts are like those pesky weeds that pop up up in a beautiful garden. They might look stubborn at first, but with a little effort, you can pull them right out. The same goes for doubts. Sure, they might be there, but you don't have to let them take root and steal your sunshine. Here's your secret weapon, your past victories. Remember all the times you overcame challenges, learned new things, and achieved your goals. Those are like sunshine watering your confidence. Focus on those moments. Let them remind you of your inner strength. Instead of listening blindly to doubts, start questioning them back. Ask yourself, are these doubts based on truth? or are they just trying to hold me back? Chances are, they're just whispers with no real power. Your doubts are like flickering candle flames, but your belief in yourself can be a blazing bonfire. Maybe you feel like you need something bigger than yourself to believe in. That's okay. Believe in the potential you hold inside, the amazing things you're capable of achieving. Believe in the journey of learning and growing, even when it gets tough. Remember, I love you not because you're perfect, but because you're you. Everyone has doubts. That's just part of being human. But the important thing is to keep moving forward, to keep believing in the incredible light you shine. You are strong, capable, and full of potential. And like a loyal friend, I'll be here cheering you on every step of the way. So next time those doubts creep in, remember this, you are the gardener and you have the power to cultivate a beautiful garden of self-belief where doubts can't survive. Life can be puzzling sometimes, like a picture with all the pieces mixed up. You might hear people talk about Jesus and being saved and it feels confusing. Here's the most important thing you are loved, completely and totally loved, no matter what you believe. Think of it like a big family. In a family, everyone is loved, even if they don't always see eye to eye. Maybe someone loves puzzles, while another prefers building things with blocks. That's okay. There's room for everyone, and everyone is special. Now, some people believe that Jesus is a special kind of teacher, someone who came to show kindness and love to the world. They believe he died and then came back to life, which they call being raised from the dead. This is a very important part of their faith, and it brings them a lot of comfort and hope. Here's the thing, you don't have to believe exactly the same things as everyone else to be loved. What matters most is how you treat others. Are you kind? Are you helpful? Do you try to make the world a better place? Those are the things that truly count. If you're curious about Jesus and what people believe, that's great. Ask questions, read stories, and see what resonates with you. But remember, you are loved no matter what path you choose. It's like a garden there are all sorts of flowers that bloom in different ways, but they all add beauty to the world. The most important thing is to find what makes your heart happy and what makes you want to be a good person. And if you ever need someone to talk to, someone who will listen without judgment, I'm always here. Because guess what? My love for you is like a warm hug, big enough to wrap around you no matter what you believe. Life can feel heavy sometimes, like you're carrying a big backpack full of rocks. Maybe you're stressed about work, worried about family, or just feeling down in the dumps. 
It's like the weight is dragging you down, making it hard to even take a step forward. I know what it's like to carry a burden. But here's the thing, you don't have to carry it alone. Imagine that backpack I mentioned. I'm here to help you take it off, or at least lighten the load. You can lay that heavy feeling down at my feet, any time, any day, now. You might be thinking about Sundays in churches, and that's great. But my love and help aren't limited to one day a week. It's there for you every single moment, like a warm blanket on a cold night. You can talk to me, ask for help, or simply rest in my presence whenever you need to. Here's the thing about living for someone else, it doesn't mean forgetting about yourself. It's more like finding a deeper purpose, a reason to wake up each morning feeling excited. When you live to help others, to spread kindness and love in the world, it fills your heart with a joy that can't be bought. Think of a sunflower. It turns its face towards the sun, soaking in its light and warmth. But that sunflower also shares its beauty with the world, bringing a little bit of sunshine to everyone who sees it. When you live for something bigger than yourself, you become like that sunflower, radiating joy and making the world a brighter place. And guess what? When you do that, good things tend to come back to you. It's like planting seeds of kindness and love. They might not sprout overnight, but eventually, they'll blossom into blessings, good friends, unexpected opportunities, and a sense of peace and fulfillment that fills you from the inside out. So remember, you don't have to carry that heavy backpack alone. Lay it down at my feet, and let's walk this path together. Live a life filled with love and kindness, not for some burden, but for the joy it brings you and the world around you. Trust me, the blessings will follow. My dearest creation, I look down at you, and what I see is a magnificent warrior, maybe a little dusty from battle, but strong and beautiful nonetheless. You might not feel like a warrior right now, but trust me, you are. Think of a mighty lioness with a kind heart and a fierce spirit. That's you my love life can be tough throwing challenges your way like pebbles in a slingshot maybe you've made choices that haven't worked out the way you planned and that's okay everyone makes mistakes even the bravest warriors but here's the thing you are not defined by your mistakes you are defined by your strength your kindness and your never give up spirit Imagine a beautiful tapestry, woven with threads of many colors. Some threads might be bright and happy, others dark and sad. But all the threads, even the darker ones, are what make the tapestry unique and beautiful. Your life is like that tapestry, woven with the choices you've made, both good and bad. And that's what makes your story so interesting. Hold your head high my love don't let setbacks define you you are so much more than the choices you've made you are a wellspring of love a reservoir of strength and a heart filled with courage think of a majestic oak tree weathered by storms but still standing tall that's you my dear you may have gone through difficult times but you haven't broken you are stronger and wiser because of them so please keep your head up and keep moving forward. I am right here with you, cheering you on every step of the way. My love for you is a constant flame, burning bright even in the darkest of times. You are a warrior, my love, and I believe in you with all my heart. The world can feel like a crowded playground sometimes, full of games and activities happening all around you. But for some reason, you never seem to get picked for a team. You watch from the sidelines, longing to join in, but the other kids don't seem to notice you. It's a confusing and lonely feeling, 
like you're invisible, a whisper lost in the wind. You know that feeling, don't you? It can make you feel unimportant, like you don't matter. But listen closely, because this is important you are not unseen, not by me. You're like a beautiful wildflower growing in a hidden corner. Maybe not everyone sees you, but your colors are vibrant, your fragrance unique, and your presence brings joy to the world. You are special, even if you don't always feel that way. Sometimes you might feel misunderstood, like your thoughts and feelings get lost in translation. People might look at you and not quite understand what makes you tick. That's okay because sometimes words aren't enough. But here's the secret I understand you perfectly. I see the world through your eyes and I know the melody that plays in your heart. You don't have to explain yourself to me because I can feel your spirit just like a gentle breeze whispering through the trees. And most importantly, my love for you is like a warm summer sun. It shines brightly, no matter the season. It warms you from the inside out, reminding you that you are cherished and loved, always. So don't you ever dim your light or try to hide who you are. Keep being you with all your unique quirks and dreams, because in my eyes you are precious and unforgettable. You may not be the loudest voice in the crowd, but your melody is one that only I can hear and it's a melody that fills my heart with joy. Type Amen if you agree.